if you have to reset it, it's okay. No. There goes the truck. Oh. No. There goes the truck. That's not a rookie mistake. I don't know what is. <laughs> After my oops moment, I think about 50 to 75% of the comments said, uh, you guys, just make it a two-bladed prop. <laughs> I think it could work, but um, everybody wants to see me do it, so it's probably going to end up in pieces, but at least it'll make for a fun video. <laughs> So I'm going to take the, the spinner off, see what's going on right now. It looks like it snapped pretty clean off, not too bad. You just want to make sure the prop gets balanced. Uh, the edges did get kind of chewed up on each prop, like that one's even missing a little chunk. Uh, so we're going to, I kind of want to just try to snap it. I would pull it forward. Oh my gosh, I feel, like I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to bend the motor shaft. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not strong. <laughs> you got it, it's, it's gone. <laughs> you got it. Let me try these. Oh my gosh, how did I do it so easy? Yeah. I just need to turn it on and hold it like Right, this. yeah. <laughs> All right, I was trying to do it all by myself, but I think Nate's gonna have to step in. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, I give up. All right, Nate. Get these big, giant muscles going here. Mm. Actually, oh my gosh. Going here. Actually, oh my that, gosh, that I just, you did that right when I wasn't even filming it. Everybody just missed it. It's okay. <laughs> well, first try. I loosened it for you. You did. <laughs> I'm going to try to shave this down. What we want to do is get it balanced as much as possible. So if I can get these more even on both sides, that'd be better. There we go. Nice and smooth on both sides. It's fairly balanced. It won't be perfect. We'll put your spinner back on and you get to fly. There you go. Abby's at the controls. It feels balanced, which is why I did that little test there at the beginning. Elevator trimmed up better. CG is better. There's no wind. And we're clear for takeoff. Just give it a shot. I'm aiming full elevator. Yes. And I'm going to ease into the throttle. Yes. And uh, probably uh, give it a lot. Once you start rolling, that's when you can juice it. Tail draggers are kind of goofy. Just start rolling and now, now juice it. Go, 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 go. Commit, commit, commit. Commit, commit. Oh, full throttle, full throttle. throttle. Oh, hold, God. hold full throttle. Hold that full throttle. Good. Just keep holding it. Just keep holding. You can scoot down to about 90% now, just so you're not killing it. Well, we might. So it works. it works. You're flying this Spitfire. Okay. How's it feel trim wise? Is it going up or down? It's fine. Okay. So Nate put the lighter weight battery that he originally flew yes, on in there. To help with CG. Okay. You can come down a hair if you want to now, now that you're in the air. What a gloomy day to fly on. Uh, actually, that was a nice pass. That was a very nice pass. Very cool. Do you want to try the retracts? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Should fly a little better now with those up. Abby's doing a good job. So we had a few different issues with this airplane. You know, there was a prop strike, but that could have been partially my fault. I think it was. I flew on an 1800 milliamp battery and I put a 2200 milliamp battery in there, which made it heavier. Very nice pass. 
and you know it's a new airplane so we're learning its tendencies and everything abby goes to fly it and it's got a heavier nose on that takeoff also maybe partially the way she was controlling it too she did not have any up elevator on a tail dragger when you're taking off you generally want to hold full up elevator and you might have to give a little bit of right rudder to compensate for the torque that the motor is causing um, there were a lot of things talked about in the comments section of that video. It did surprisingly very good. I think people like watching fails. <laughs> Duh. No one will watch this video. Because it's a success. <laughs> You're doing a great, great job flying it. Um, you know, I have safe. What do you think of having safe on a non-Horizon airplane? I want every plane to have safe. <laughs> yeah. So I went back to the lighter battery for a better CG to get less weight in the nose for that takeoff. And well, as you guys are seeing, we snapped a four bladed prop down to two blades to fly like this. We do not recommend that anybody do this. It is not necessarily safe. And it's probably really hard on the motor. Hard on the motor, hard on the ESC. And if you guys don't make sure that your prop is in perfect condition, it could shatter while flying. So although we are doing this and I have nine or so solid years of experience flying, I know what to look for. We're not gonna put something in the air that has a half shattered prop. This one was a clean break and we cut it cleanly so that we could get a nice balanced propeller to fly this on. So in other words, what we're saying is we don't recommend that you do this. In fact, don't do this. <laughs> Although people see you pictures of them doing it. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm don't do it because we said so. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So it seems like a dark gloomy day like on the video it just looks so dark and everything but you're right it's kind of like bright it's it's really yeah. weird the camera just never does life justice which is why we encourage you guys to get out and fly as often as possible you're doing great abby i'm surprised this I'm thing is flying flight, you're doing really good i am a little nervous with the prop i still have to land it yeah landings my first retract plane i think so I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. It's hard to remember everything after so many years. Yeah. You're doing a great job though. I'm, I'm so happy this is flying. You redeemed that takeoff and that is just the beauty of this hobby. We could have probably in the same day gotten just our tools out and snapped the prop, you know, but who, you don't plan for failures, you plan for success. And so when you bring extra props, you're planning for failing. No, that's just the lazy thing. I did order two extra props though. We have two more props on the way. I think as, as much as airplanes cost, just put an extra prop in there. You got these little drones. I think, let's, let's have a vote in the comments. <laughs> Should all RC planes come with at least one extra prop? So when you break your original prop, you put the replacement on and, and then you order another one or two or 10. People are like, or you could just do that when you open the plane. Or when you originally buy it. You could do that. You could do that. But you get these $15 little drones that fly amazingly well. The electronics in them are just insane how they work. And they come with like eight extra props. Ready? Are you like, oh, retracts. Very nice. Saw them lower. Are you counting them? Yep. One, two, three wheels. Are you just looking? That's right. You just need two. Not very good at landing this direction. It's harder to land this direction, but you're doing a fine job. And like with the prop, 
now. Be okay. Just, just I, try to. Let me know what. I'm not landing this time. I just, just don't even know what to do with the throttle right now. You're gonna go zero throttle and dive down, and then just use gravity to help, just like all, just like all airplanes. Oh, stall. <laughs> yeah, stalling is always the scary thing. But if you're flying level and you're not turning, you're not banking, then you really don't have to worry about a stall too much. Wingtip stalls on a bank are way worse than a stall while landing. You're doing good, getting lined up. This is so awesome that this worked. And zero throttle and just let it come in. Dive, 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 dive. You will stall that high. Dive it and then you just flare at the end and you'll get it. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Wow. I almost touched it, did you see it? It was close. Yeah, you had it, you had it. That was amazing. Good job. He did it. Success. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> really good I job. I can't believe that worked. And I can't believe that I made it work. Like, if that makes sense. Like, I figured, okay, if it was Nate flying it on the two blades. I'm sure he'll be fine. Me doing it though. <laughs> I was a little scared, but I need to learn to have faith in you guys. You guys believed in me. At least some of you did. Yeah. <laughs> some of you were like, that's what you get, Nate. For letting a woman touch your stuff. Get back in the kitchen. Can you believe there's people like that? <laughs> well, you know what I say to those people? I fly and I cook. So what now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that even helped. But me. also, I fly <laughs> and cook. So, what does that mean? That we're a power couple. No, well, we just love each other. Boom. Cringe. <laughs> that was cool, you guys. Thanks for encouraging us to get out and try this because if it wasn't for you all leaving your comments, we wouldn't have tried this. That's we right. We would have just waited until the prop came and I would have tried to fly it again with a regular prop. So, success and uh, it's just awesome to have such a good community. Um, on our channel here on YouTube and for that I want to thank God because he has given us and surrounded us with so much Positivity here on our channel so many encouraging people and uh, we just couldn't be more thankful for that Also speaking of encouraging people these patrons here. They're awesome They help support us and they are just the backbone to our channel and uh, they're the reason why I can do something like this or Nate can do something kind of goofy and we don't have to worry too much because they help support us and it's just they're the reason we can do stuff like this and so thank you guys very much well since you already saw my erp, yeah i guess i'll just throw nate's maiden up here for you guys to watch of this awesome dynam spitfire plane it'll be linked in the description box below but go check out that video and we'll see you over there bye